Hello again. It is Picks, Props, and Predictions here, all part of the Fifth Quarter Show on YouTube. Thanks for checking it out and subscribing if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? Hit that notification bell and you will never miss an episode. Some of the great content that is coming up over the next couple of weeks. We're going to focus in on the Canadian Football League playoffs. East and West semifinals coming up this Saturday. We'll have the East and West final the following weekend. And then, the course, Great Cup 111 in BC, November the 17th. Should be exciting. Which two teams will battle it out for the coveted Great Cup? Well, we'll find out in just a matter of weeks. But let's get right to it. Picks, props, and predictions. If you are unaware, or this is the first time you're watching or listening, this is a weekly look at the sports betting scene tied to the Canadian Football League. And I know I've dabbled into other sports as well, but this is all CFL and this is all East and West semifinal weekend here. So let's focus on that. Before we do that, our weekly reminder, this is for entertainment purposes only. Please play responsibly. Most importantly, know your limit as well. Last week, not perfect, but not awful. Two correct, one incorrect. I had the Tiger Cats covering the two and a half point spread in Ottawa and they were oh so close but they fell 37 31 and so got that incorrect I did get Bo Levi Mitchell's completions mark right I had plus 18 completions for Bo Levi he went 25 of 36 against the Red Blacks and I also went with the over on the total point 50 and a half I said they're going to blow that out of the water and they did 68 combined points for those two teams okay let's get to the pick. And we're actually going to make a pick for both the East and West semifinals. We have the Argonauts hosting the Red Blacks. Toronto is a six and a half point favorite in the East semifinal, 3 p.m. kickoff Eastern time on Saturday. And BC in Saskatchewan, the Rough Riders, three and a half point favorites in the West semifinal. That game begins at 6.30 Eastern time. Now, I don't think either road team is going to win this weekend. But I do like both to cover the number. It's the playoffs. You know, games are usually tight. Ottawa is getting a little healthier on offense and I think should be able to find some success against Toronto's defense. And for Ottawa's sake, let's hope their D can find some answers to Toronto's offense. Because a couple of weeks ago, they really could not. BC, on the other hand, is coming off a bye in week 21. So they've had a couple of weeks to prepare, really for their semifinal matchup in the West. And in this case, it's in Regina. I think, and I at least I hope both games are going to be thoroughly entertaining, and I think they will. I have Red Blacks covering the six and a half point spread, and I also have the BC Lions covering the three and a half point spread. Should be fun to watch for sure. The proposition, and I can already hear Tiger Cats fans groan about this selection. Bear with me. A Chad Kelly anytime touchdown against Ottawa is minus 190. Kelly scored five rushing TDs this season. Let's not forget, that's at a half a season, including one against the Red Blacks a couple of weeks ago. And while I'm really tempted to take a Vernon Adams Jr. anytime touchdown, which is at plus 220, I think that a Kelly anytime TD is more likely to happen. So my prop is a Chad Kelly anytime touchdown. Sorry, Ticats fans. I almost want to take that back <laughs> already. And the prediction, I, I wanted to get creative with this one because this is an interesting stat. The East and West semifinal, I think the odds makers are, are figuring it is going to be an air show because BC's Vernon Adams Jr., his over under passing yards on Saturday is 317 and a half. Ottawa's Drew Brown is at 308 and a half. Kelly is at 305.5. And Trevor Harris out in Regina is at a lowly 273 and a half passing yards against BC. That's a total, if you add it up, a total of 1,207 passing yards between the four quarterbacks. Now, it's weather-wise, it's actually going to be really nice this Saturday in both Toronto and Regina. Partly cloudy, relatively mild, but we could see 30-plus kilometer-per-hour wind gusts at Mosaic Stadium, which could factor into uh, the passing game. And let's not forget, we have some really good running backs playing in these two games on Saturday, so I'm not sure we're going to see the air show that many 
are expecting. My prediction is that we're going to get under 1,207 combined passing yards in both the East and West semifinal. I know it's kind of a weird prediction. It's something that I don't think you can bet on as a whole. As always on Triple P, we have some National Football League rapid fire picks for you. Last week, struggled a little bit. I went 10 and 6 overall in the season, 88 and 35. So looking at week nine, we've got some really good games in week nine. I have the Jets kicking off Thursday night, beating Houston, a a mangled Houston Texans lineup, at least on offense. I have the Jets somehow, some way getting into the win column. Buffalo mauling Miami. Baltimore getting back into the win column against Denver. I have Cincinnati beating the Raiders. Tennessee at home against the Patriots, who are coming off an emotional win over the Jets last week. Maybe a bit of a de- a letdown for the Pats. Carolina upsetting New Orleans. New Orleans so banged up on offense. Carolina's got to win, and they're at home. So I'll take the Panthers. Atlanta beating Dallas. Cleveland riding that high and taking down the Chargers. Washington, off their crazy Hail Mary win last week against the Bears, continues that momentum and beating a division rival in the Giants. Philadelphia hammers Jacksonville. Arizona at home over the Bears. Seattle beats the Rams. These two teams always play close games. Flip a coin if you're picking this one. I'll take the Seahawks at home. Detroit gets by the Packers and, you know, really reigns supreme in the NFC North. Minnesota beats Old Man Flacco and the Indianapolis Colts. And Kansas City continues their unbeaten run. They take down a pretty beat up Tampa Bay Buck squad as well. Fifth quarter show playoff edition. This Saturday kicks off at approximately 9.30 p.m. Whenever the West semifinal game is done, we'll be live. 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 6.30 Pacific. By the way, Commissioner Randy Ambrosi have been told open to doing an interview with me during Grey Cup week. You heard that he recently announced that he was going to be retiring from his role as commissioner of the Canadian Football League. When I get him on the show, we'll talk about his time as commish, some of the things he liked, some of the things he would like to change, and we'll look back at his legacy, of course, and perhaps some of the things that he thinks can take this game to the next level. And who would make a good commissioner? What qualities does one need to be the Grand Poobah, if you will? Don't forget as well, two new fifth quarter show features coming up in the week following the Grey Cup. So November 19th is going to be the debut of Seasons, and a couple of days later, Legends. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, again, right after Grey Cup um, Sunday, Grey Cup 111 NBC, we'll fire up those two new features. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't already, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode, whether it's the fifth quarter show Picks, props, and predictions, sober second thoughts on Tuesday, and the two new features coming at you in the offseason. We'll also have, following the Great Cup as well, we're going to look at the Tiger Cats free agent roster and some of the guys who are signed under contract for the next season or two. We'll do that in the next couple of weeks, again, following the Great Cup. Stay tuned for those details as well. Again, thanks for subscribing, and Oski Wee Wee.